right now we're scored with Johnny Benson in sixth and Ron Hornaday in 13th. So seven trucks, as you mentioned, in between. Take a look at this amazing racing between our title contenders. We're racing for a lead, but more importantly, we're racing for a championship. Coming into this race, it was three points. Take a look at this. Johnny Benson cuts right in between the KHI race trucks of Ron Hornaday and Kevin Harvick. Check, check uh, Hornaday here as we get off turn, as we try to exit off turn two. Watch Hornaday squeeze up in front of Johnny. Oh, he tries to make the movement out of him. can't quite get there. Let's take a look at how Kyle Busch got the lead. Now watch this. Johnny goes high. Ron's on the bottom. Kyle's up. The middle's open. There I go. Look how tight that is. And remember, this was after lap 90. This was after we had restarted after that debris caution on lap number 90. Guys, we documented there's seven trucks right now in between Johnny Benson and Ron Hornaday. What, you know, we've only got seven laps to go. We're gonna That's have a five. Lot We're gonna have maybe five laps to go. What if we get another caution flag? We may only have two or three green flag laps for Ron Hornaday to pass all those trucks. I just like, I just love four tires right now. I, I really like the call Richie Waters made, two tires. Don't put me in jeopardy. Don't put all those trucks in front of me. Two tires are gonna be plenty enough for Kyle Busch to make a move for the win. Double A. And a lot of talk on the radio during this caution. We told you about Scott Speed and the plan for JB to go around him on the restart. Right behind him, another one of his teammates, Taylor Malsum. Then you've got Kyle Busch. They reminded Rocky Ryan, the spotter, to talk to Kyle's guys on the spotter stand to make sure they can work with the 51 as well. That is the plan. So hopefully they've got partners in front and behind all that to ensure Johnny Benson will be the 2008 champion, right? And real quickly, let's hear from Rick Wren. Rick, you think four tires will be the difference? Well, four tires should be worth about two seconds. That's all I can say. You know, we, we don't have any radio communication with the driver, so it's kind of tough. I just, I just made a call. He could hear us, but I couldn't hear him, so I put four tires on it. We're just going to have to roll the dice and see. It didn't help us. Then blowing the track, that lost us an extra lap. How's your tongue supply? I haven't even had any today. I don't believe that. I know better. Rick Wren, ready to go. We'll see. How many laps are left, guys? It'll be five when we get to the start-finish line. Five laps remaining in the 2008 season. I think five laps may be enough for Hornaday, but if we get another caution flag, I'm not so sure. How about Brian Scott? Brian Scott looking to win his first ever NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race right here at Homestead Miami Speedway. But I'm, guess, I'm guessing right now he's got a little bit of a worry behind him. He's got Todd Bodine. He's got Kevin Harvick back there. Be ready. Dennis Setzer. This Be is the ready. first time he's ever been in this position. He's Be bringing ready. them down with five to go leading the race. Be ready. This is the most important restart flag, of this kid's flag. life. A great restart for Brian Scott. Green flag in the air. Five laps to go. Kyle Busch all over the back bumper of that 24 of Taylor Malsum. Hornaday has not gotten by anybody yet. He's works to the inside of Timothy Peters, the 17 truck. Battle for the lead, side by side. Todd Bodine looking to the inside of Brian Scott. Brian Scott with the momentum on the outside. Can he hold on to the lead? Going into turn three, they're side by side. Here comes Kevin Harvick. Look at Kevin Harvick right down on the bottom of the racetrack. Johnny Benson's hanging tough. Johnny's holding on. Picks up the spot. He's running in the fifth spot. Four laps remain. It's Todd Bodine leading Brian Scott and Kevin Harvick. With four laps to go, there's with four to go. There's four trucks between the two of them. Hornaday trying to move forward. He was 11th when they went by the start finish line. Benson was in fifth. Kyle Busch not quite able to clear Johnny, but we know Kyle Busch wants to get up there and win this race. Here comes Hornaday on your left of your screen, getting on the inside of Kraft and drives right by him. Kyle Busch trying to get by that 23. Taking a position away from Johnny Benson, moving toward the front. Again, two-tire stop for that 51. Now just two positions between Johnny Benson and Ron Hornaday. Three laps to go. Can Johnny Benson run with Kyle Busch? Kyle Busch and get a spot from him. You know Hornaday's gonna try to get that 22. That's Johnny Benson's teammate between the two of them. Look at Johnny fights back to the inside of the 51 of Kyle Busch. Ron Hornaday now will try to get by. Oh, we've oh. got a caution. We've got a problem on the back stretch. That's what, that was the worst thing that could happen for Ron Hornaday. Oh, man. The caution has come out once again. It will be a green-white checkered finish. There will be two laps and that is it.
how impressive was Johnny's run just then? Not only, not only did he hold his own, he was trying to pass Kyle Busch when the caution flew. I love the way that man's driven this race. There's Taylor Malsum right there. Believe it or not, Johnny Benson's teammate. Folks, take a deep breath. We're going to be right back to Homestead <laughs> Miami Speedway for the final laps of the 2008 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. Who will be your champion? We're going to find out. <laughs> 